I mean, out of my way, children. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Well, there's one for my diary. I'll be back here soon enough. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Headmaster? Here. Yeah. What could he want? Mr. Gaunt! Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Chewy... Something is very wrong with Professor Bob. <laughs> Professor... A word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh... <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course. Professor? A word, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How... how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, 
I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. Settle another on the farm that night. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance. Ahem! Uh, Scrope! Oh, a greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. But certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Revelio. Alohomora.
Valley. Good bring them. Rebellion. You can't imagine how we can use the battle was before I invented this. Rebellion. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Hi now, demigods. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. Hmm. 
What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I... I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. I'm yeah. happy with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realized. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Man, and I haven't done mine either. Uh... What? Don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh... Billy wig thing. Rebellion. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your mm. Rebellion. 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 The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Visiting families have a motto. Rebellion.
It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald?